Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoterica and our continuing series on the Mr. Field Programmable Gator Ray Board. Today what we're going to be taking a look at is the Mr. compared to the Neo Geo AES because it's considered to be one of the best cores on the system and it saves you a lot of money compared to buying original hardware. Before we get too far involved, if you give me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, it definitely helps us out. If you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link down there as well. What I'm going to be doing in this video is both showing you how to set up the Mr. Neo Geo Core, getting your ROMs in so everything works, and adding in BIOS files and other necessary items, and then I'm going to be comparing it directly against original Neo Geo AES hardware. The one difference that I'm not going to be able to compare directly is video outputs. The Mr. either has VGA at 15 or 31 kilohertz or HDMI out. My Neo Geo AES either has S video or RGB out. I'm not using RGB because it has jail bars and I still need to finish modifying it. So the quality is going to be slightly different, but we're checking for accuracy, not video output. Now the one big difference is, until I set up a USB adapter for my Neo Geo 4 button stick, a video that I will be showing in the future on the channel, I have to use the Switch Pro controller, which is a super great controller, but the buttons are not in line. So that's definitely going to be something that I'm not going to like and I know straight ahead. But the thing that I want to answer is, is the Mr. good enough to replace my AES? I don't think I'm going to sell these games, but I want to know how close to original are we? So taking a look at the core menu, you're going to see we have system type, console, or arcade, and we don't really need to change that so long as we're using the Unibios. I will link to Rizula's website below so you can download that. It is a free download, but otherwise leave everything else as is to get the best image quality off the Mr. I don't redefine anything as far as the video is concerned. All I do is define my button inputs, and you're going to see there's one button in particular that comes up. It's going to be ABC. I use one of the Switch Pro Controller's buttons for that that I no more wouldn't use for gameplay because that allows you to bring up the Unibios menu at the start. But as you see here going through all the different ROMs, they do work differently than everything else. In the original video I showed you Super Nintendo ROMs and you just dump those right in the folder, but for Neo Geo it's set up differently and it's one of the only times you'll see that. Each individual game needs to be in its own folder. I'm using the roll-up pack, and I will leave a link to where to find that below. It's not the ROMs, it's just the description, and if you just read it, you'll find them, I'm sure. But you'll see that each game's in its own folder, and then we have the necessary files in there as well without folders. On the right, you'll see what you need to download, and then the ROM set XML file comes down with the automatic update script for the mister that I showed in the first video. So check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But going back to the core menu, the first thing we're going to take a look at is Garu Mark of the Wolves. It's one of my favorite fighting games on the system. It's considered to be one of the best fighting games on the system, and it's a really good comparison. So see with the Unibios, I'm going to set everything up as Japanese region and as a home console. That's why we don't change anything in the Mr. Menu. We're going to let the Unibios do that for us. But watch this intro, listen to the audio, and directly afterward it's going to be the intro for my AES original hardware as well. So compare, contrast, audio quality, image quality, and I'll be back in about 30 seconds and we'll keep talking more about how good the core really is. <laughs> So outside of the fact that the HDMI audio signal is definitely clearer because it is digital, they both look and sound identical. And we're taking a look at the Mr. screen right here on the character select screen, but comparing these two games against each other, I cannot notice any difference whatsoever outside of the fact that my Frame Meister slightly changes the pixel shape when it goes through my capture card. Normally I play on a PVM and it doesn't do that. But you'll see here, the selection screen lined up, it is frame to frame accurate. I have both audio sources playing on 
on top of one another, and the waveforms match perfectly. There is no missyncing, nothing is off. That means that this is to the frame, both audio and visual accurate, at least for that screen. Now in advance, I will say the Switch Pro Controller is terrible for playing Neo Geo fighting games, and in a future video, I am going to convert my Neo Geo AES stick over to USB for the Mister with a special board, but that'll be coming soon. But playing this game on the Mister, it is perfect. I cannot tell any difference whatsoever. There is no perceivable lag that is affecting my inputs. The only thing that's giving me an issue is using a four button controller like the Switch Pro Controller versus the original AES stick because I need that clicky stick and I need those four big buttons in a line. But transitioning over to the original AES hardware, the colors are different because it is different hardware, and of course it is an analog signal through the Frame Meister, but the game plays identical. I can't see any difference, I can't hear any difference. To me, this is the exact same game. The only difference is one is a $2,000 cartridge, one is just a ROM on the Mister. But I love the clarity in the image. Everything looks spectacular. So, at least for initial impressions, I am absolutely 100% impressed with what the Mister Core is doing for the Neo Geo. It's super easy to use, it's super easy to set up, and being able to have the entire library of your games for Neo Geo sitting next to your TV at any moment in time is absolutely outstanding. But you will see, like I said control-wise, I'm able to pull supers off no big deal whatsoever on my AES with that stick, and I just can't do that on the Neo Geo Core. So until I adapt an arcade stick over to it, I don't actually like playing on it. But now you'll see we're going to move over to Pulsestar. This is an interesting example because this game has garbage in the screen transitions. It has flickers. It has lines. And what I noticed in this game, you'll see that flicker right there on the mister. You're going to see the exact same thing on an AES. They look slightly different, but the core is so accurate that it's actually emulating in hardware description language the junk that happens in the screen transition. That tells me that this is very accurate again. But once again, going over to the Mister, I did notice that there is a slight difference in the fade when you first come into stage one. The letters are not over top black. You can actually see the background versus my AES. Now that might just be a difference in the video signal, or it could be that this game started running a few frames too early. I cannot tell once the game is playing whatsoever, but it was the first time with the Mister Neo Geo Core that I did notice a difference between one source and the other. It doesn't matter whatsoever in playing the game, but you'll just see that screen transition was slightly different. But if we're going to be comparing the accuracy of the core to original hardware, we do need to point out even those little inconsistencies. The slowdown is exactly the same across both systems. I feel like on the AES, the slowdown lasts a little bit longer, where the Mr. Core kind of caught back up to normal speed, but that could just be down to feel of having played Pulsestar so many times. But honestly, again, it's very hard to tell the difference. Then the fact that it's so easy to play on the Mr. plug into your TV, it's a really great option, especially because an original Pulsar cart is going to cost you right maybe around $4,000 now. You can have the entire Neo Geo library on your Mister for the cost of a Mister and some time. So as far as ease of use and collectability is concerned, the Mister is definitely going to be a lot better resource for you. And I had heard and read that the Mr. Core was absolutely outstanding as far as its accuracy to the Neo Geo, and that's because most, if not all, of the chips on the Neo Geo AES and MVS boards have been delitted and they've been scanned so we can see the silicon underneath there. So when they write the code in hardware description language, it is almost perfect compared to what the silicon would be underneath it. And that was a project that started before Mister. That's why this core was so easy to get running in one of the first cores that they had available. But now we're taking a look at Neo Bomberman. It's another one of my favorite games on the system, and I wanted to try to kind of diversify different genres. And again, outside of the fact that we're going from analog to digital signals, and of course S-Video is never going to look as good as HDMI, once again, I can't tell any difference whatsoever in playing these two games, outside of the fact, again, that Switch controller doesn't let me turn corners the same way that I would like to on an arcade stick. But this is the great thing about the Mr. Neo Geo Core, is that Neo Bomberman only released on MVS. I have a conversion copy that I bought for the AES, but this is a game that you have to have an MVS board to play, or you have to be able to source a conversion of it. So it's a really fun thing to check out. 
But the game I really wanted to try was Matra Melee, because it's my number one favorite game on the Neo Geo AES. And going in the intro, switching from one source to the other, again, everything lines up perfectly. I was able to frame match the transition, and other than the fact that the pixel shape slightly changed due to the frame meister, everything else is synced up completely fine. And I played this game probably more than any other game on the Neo Geo AES, so for me, it feels the most familiar. And again, I couldn't find a single perceivable difference playing the Neo Geo Core versus playing on an original Neo Geo AES with this cartridge that I've owned for a little bit over 10 years. Now, I wanted to match up the same arenas time and time again, but of course, these games always start randomly, and I spent half an hour capturing these and couldn't get the same two damn arenas to play. I even got one of the rarest arenas in the AES copy to get. It happens maybe once every like 30, 40 matches. I got it twice. That's how much this game was giving me hell to try to capture matching images. But again, the gameplay is perfect outside of that Switch controller. All of the music sounds exactly like it should. All of the sprites are animating perfectly. This is the match or melee I know and I love, and it is working exactly how you would like it to. And the most important thing is the sound to me, because the Neo Geo had very particular sounding music, and I've always loved it for that. And right here in the stage, I'll show it again without me talking in a moment, with them singing a song about how much fun it is to build a computer. If the audio is off, you're going to notice. And the biggest thing about software emulation with Neo Geo is 90% of the time it seems like the audio isn't right. Whether it's the opening Neo Geo jingle or it's the music or sound effects in the game, they never sound correct. And if you're coming from original hardware, it's the first thing you notice. Even if the game plays fine, if the sound is off, it's a terrible experience because so much of Neo Geo to me is the amazing soundtracks and how good they sound. And that's what's amazing about the Mr. Neo Geo Core is that it sounds like I expect it to. And you'll see here moving over to the AES copy, this is this arena I talk about. I rarely have ever see it on playthroughs, and of course, I got it twice for the capture. But outside of the video quality being slightly less and the audio being analog signal, again, it sounds and plays absolutely perfect. And this is a game that I've probably played a hundred times. I love Matter Melee, I'm always advocating for it. What I'm going to do is let you listen to this soundtrack coming right up and hear how great the mister is for audio quality. And I'll be back in about 20 seconds. And there you have it, that's the Mr. Neo Geo AES and MVS Core. I was shocked how good it was. I had heard it was good, people had said it was good, but I thought I'd be able to see some difference that I just imagined would be there. And I can definitely tell you, other than the fact that the native audio levels of the Mr. are slightly too high and you can turn those down in the system itself, this is a near too perfect arcade core emulation of the Neo Geo AES and MVS. I can't recommend it enough. Am I going to sell my Neo Geo and all my games and just play on the Mister? No. I'm stupid. I like big plastic cartridges. And as a man who was frozen as a pizza delivery boy in the 20th century once said, shut up and take my money. That's how much I love the Neo Geo. Short of that, we'll be back with another episode in our Mister Core Comparison coming up. And we'll have videos on Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday as well. But thanks so much for watching. If you do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.